hello guys and welcome back to the second part of the tutorial and in this part we are going to model this area here and if you haven't watched the first part of the tutorial make sure you watch that first and then come back to this part so now let's get the video started here so let's start the modeling from here so take a cube and start matching it with the reference image Now go on to edge mode here and select this edge here and add a bevel to it and now select this vertex here and move it here and then I will add edge loop in between here and then go on to vertex mode and select this vertex here and match it with the reference here and I will do the same on here as well. Now select this edge here and add a bevel to it. Now let's make this part here. So let's take a cube here. And here you can see it's cylindrical in the top so first i will match it with the cube now i will take some edge loops in here so first i will take one edge loop here and another one here i will take one more here and last one here as well now go to face mode and i will delete these faces here and I don't need these faces as well so I will delete it now select this vertex and move it here and then go to edge mode and delete this edge here and then bridge this edge here using F now I will just match it with the reference by extruding it and you can see these two are separate parts here Now go on to top view and scale it on the y axis to match it with the reference. And coming back to this part I will select this face and make an insert in here.
now let's make this part here so take another cube and just match it with the reference Now I will take a edge loop in here and then go to face mode and select this face and extrude it out and I will take one more edge loop here and then select this vertex and bevel it and I will bevel this vertex as well and then match it with the reference image. Now I will take one more edge loop here and then I will just move it out. and then go to edge mode here and apply a bevel to this edge here now I will just manually adjust these edges here to match it with the reference image Now I will scale it on the Y axis as well. And let's scale it on the Y axis a bit more. And now I will take a cube here and make that upper part. Now let's scale this part on the Y axis as well and I will take an edge loop here and apply the scale here first and then go to edge mode and select this edges here and add a bevel to it and I will add a bevel to this edge as well. Now go to vertex mode and move this vertex here and then bevel it. And now I'll just manually adjust these vertices a bit. And I will select both the parts here and move it out a bit on the X axis. I will bevel these edges as well.
now I will take another cube here and make this part now I will scale it on the y axis first and then go into face mode and select these two faces apply the scale first and then apply an insert here and then scale them on the y axis again and now select this vertex here and just slide them to match it with the reference image Now let's model this small part here. So take a cube and just match it with the reference. Select this vertex, first move it here, then you can dissolve this vertex here and I will take an edge loop here and then go into face mode and extrude this face out and I will take one more edge loop here and then go into vertex mode here and then just merge these vertices. and I will select this edge here apply the scale first and apply a bevel to it and I will scale it on the y axis as well now go to face mode and select this face here and duplicate it using shift d and then separate it by selection now select this mesh here and first i will reset its origin point here and then take an edge loop here and then bevel it now select these two faces here and just delete them and now select this face and extrude it out and match it to the reference image Now I will just bevel these edges out here Now let's make this part here So take another cube and match it with the reference image
now scale it on the y axis again and just match it with the reference now select this faces here and deselect this face and then extrude them out and then scale them on the y axis a bit and then select the whole mesh here and scale it on the y axis again Now I'll select this corner edges here and apply a bevel to it. Now take another cube here and then model this part here. First scale it on the Y axis. and then take an edge loop in here and then select these vertices and scale them on the y axis as well and now just duplicate this part using shift d and then scale it out on the y axis and then go into vertex mode and move these vertices here And now select this faces here and scale it on the y axis as well. And I'll just bevel this edge as well. Now let's model the trigger part here. So first take a cube here and just match it with the reference image. You select these vertices here and scale it on the y axis. Now go into edge mode here and select these edges here and first apply the scale and then apply a bevel to it. Now go into face mode here and select these faces here and duplicate them using shift d and move it out and i will scale it on the y axis a bit now just go to edge mode and bridge these edges here and fill this area as well And I will just scale this part on the x axis a bit to match it with the reference image. Now we'll take another cube here and model the grip part here. Just match it with the reference image.
we'll select this edge loop here and add a bevel to it and then go into vertex mode and I will just manually adjust these vertices here and select this edge loop and add a bevel to it as well now scale it on the y axis a bit to match it with the reference image and I will scale this part on the y axis a bit as well and also I will scale this part as well Now come back to this part and select, go into edge mode and select these edges here and apply the scale first and then apply a bevel to it Now take the knife tool here and make a cut through here Now I will first delete this edge here and I will apply a mirror modifier here. Now select these two vertices and join them. And just slide these two vertices down. And move these vertices inside as well. Now go into face mode here and select these faces. And then extrude it along the normals. Now if I apply a subdivision modifier here, it will look like this. So I will just bevel these edges out. So we have got the shape that we needed here. And I will just scale it a bit on the y axis. Now let's make this part here, so select this mesh here and then go to vertex mode and join these vertices first. Then go into face mode here and select this face and extrude it down. And then just match it with the reference image. And I will take an edge loop here and then select this face and extrude it out from here.
and now I will select these faces here and extrude it out as well and just match it with the reference again now delete this inner faces here first and then merge these vertices here Now select these faces here and extrude them and scale them on the y axis. And then select this edge here and just move it slightly on the x axis. and I will do the same with this top edges as well now delete this face here and this faces as well and then go into edge mode and just join these two edges here and just bridge these two edges here Now I will take another cube here and make this middle part here Take another cube and continue matching it with the reference image. Select this vertex here and add a bevel to it and then move these vertices according to the reference image. and I will take one more cube here to make this part here and select this vertex and bevel it and just match it with the reference again and now I will just scale it on the y axis Select these faces here and extrude it along the normals 
and scale them on the y axis a bit and we'll select this two parts here and scale it a bit on the y axis now come back to this part i will select this faces here and extrude it a bit on the z axis and then scale it on the y axis again now select this part here and go to face mode and select this faces here and then duplicate it and separate it by selection now scale it on the y axis a bit and now i will add a solidify modifier here make sure you apply the scale as well apply the modifier here and now go to vertex mode and just adjust these vertices according to the reference image and I don't need this edge so I will just delete this edge here now select this edges here and scale it on the y axis first and then apply a bevel to it and now I will select this edges here and then apply a bevel to it and also I will click these edges as well and then apply a bevel to it as well now if I apply a subdivision modifier it will look like this and I need to bevel these edges as well so now it's looking good now we will model this part here so first I will select this face and applying insert here then extrude it inside and then duplicate it and separate it by selection and I don't need the subdivision modifier here and I will make an insert here first and one more insert here and then go to edge mode here and select this edges here and then increase the selection using ctrl plus now deselect this edges here now I will apply a bevel to this edges here now go to face mode and select this faces here and select it by similar area and then extrude it inside Now go to vertex mode here and then just merge these vertices so I will do the same process to every vertex here and I am not going to record this whole process so see you after this part is completed so I have merged all the vertices here and this part is almost done. And now select this part here and just move it inside a bit. Now let's do this inner part here. So I will take a cube and just match it with the reference image.
the scale turn the y axis a bit now apply the scale here and now i will add some edge loops here now select this edge loop and add a bevel to it now go into face mode and extrude them along the normals so this part is done i'll just select this vertices and move it a bit Now let's make this part here. So I will just take a cube and just match it with the reference. Now apply the scale here and select these two edges here and apply a bevel to it. Now let's make these holes here. So I will take a cylinder here and then move it here and scale it down a bit. and i will delete half of the cylinder here and now i'll just rotate it on the x axis to 90 degree and then i'll just duplicate it and move it on the x axis and scale it to minus 1 now join this to mesh using control j and then just bridge this edges here and also fill this area as well and now i'll just duplicate it and place it here and then press shift r to repeat the duplication here and i will duplicate this one more time and bring it here and again i will just repeat the duplication with shift r i will just hide this part for now now select all the mesh here and press control j to join them i will bring them outside first Now I will just place it according to the reference image. Now select this part and apply a boolean modifier here and select this object with the picker tool here and make sure you join all the parts using ctrl j and apply the auto shade smooth as well and also change its viewport visibility to wireframe so this is looking good i will just mirror it on the other side
and now just apply the modifier here and I will just hide these parts for now now let's model this part here so first I will take a cylinder here and rotate it to 90 degree on the X axis and then I will just align these two parts so first select this part then go on to snap and cursor to selected and then go on to this part and go on to snap and then selection to cursor so it will be aligned with this part now go on to face mode here and I will select these faces here and then invert the selection here by ctrl i and then delete it so we will be left with this part only Now I will just bridge this edges first and then I will delete these faces as well. Now I will select these edges here and extrude it. And I will do the same here as well. And also I will recalculate the normals here by pressing shift N. Now I will take a edge loop in between here and then add a bevel to it. And I will take two more edge loops in between here and then scale them on the Y axis. Now I will apply a solidify modifier here. And apply the modifier here. Now select these edges here and apply a bevel to it. and then select this edges here and apply a bevel to it as well and I will select this border edges here and I will apply a bevel to them as well and then I will apply a subdivision modifier so it's looking good but we still have to make this cut here So I will take a edge loop here and then scale it on the Z axis to 0 to make it straight. Then apply a bevel to it and then go into face mode here and then just delete these faces and fill these areas here and apply a bevel to these edges as well. Now let's make these cuts here. So come back to this part here. I will turn off the subdivision modifier here. Now select this face here and apply an insert here first. Now select these two vertex here and just join them using J. and I will join these two vertex as well from the top to bottom I will join two vertex as well now select these two vertex and scale it on the Z axis a bit now go to face mode and just extrude this face inside and scale it down a bit
and just do the same on the other side as well and i will just hold control to snap this vertex with this one Now select this edges here and apply bevel to it. So this part is also done. and if you want you can make this cut as well now let's make this screws here so i will take a cylinder and rotate it to 90 degree on the y axis here and scale it down and now select this vertex here and join them and now select this face and move it here and scale it up a bit now select this face and extrude it inside i will join this vertex as well and now select this face and extrude it inside and i'll scale it down a bit on the z axis So we have got the shape of a screw. Now I'll just scale it down and place it according to the reference image. Just duplicate it and rotate it a bit to make some variations. and i will select this edges and apply bevel to them as well
and I will come back to this part and I will scale it on the y axis a bit and also I will scale this one a bit on the y axis as well and I will apply a bevel modifier on it and increase the segment to 4 here and lower the amount of bevel a bit Now apply the modifier here and I will just bevel this edge out as well. And if you get this type of effect, just apply a weighted normal modifier here and just apply it. So our model is completed here. and just mirror all the screws on the other side as well I'll just duplicate this screw and place it here as well So that's the end of the tutorial here. If this video is helpful to you, please like, share and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this. Thank you and have a nice day.